relationship coordinator is concerned it's going to be an interesting plateau today i tell you what ladies and gentlemen you know miss b is playing cool because i don't just want to express how happy i am this afternoon as far as the program is concerned uh, let me just reserve that for you all greetings to you all wherever you are connected across Cameroon. thank you so much social media whatsapp facebook and so on instagram and so on good afternoon to you all the program meet the marriage counselor and the relationship coordinator Thank you so much for taking the rendezvous. Thank you, Equally Production Room. It's Joel over the glass there. We're glad to have you, Joel, this afternoon. As far as we, how they call it, you know, realizate, uh -huh. as the French people will say. It's consent. Thank you so much, Joel. All right, we're there. We go straight into the program this afternoon. But we promise you all, ladies and gentlemen, children and parenting we're not done uh, we give you the reason why we're still on this we told you it's december this is the season where if you're not careful you know parents against children children against parents because it's december and that's why we can't help but to come with this children and parenting and lots of other you know topical issues as far as this season is concerned until this season will be over we go back to our culture of receiving files from you all dear televiewers so please that does not stop you from sending your files mm -hmm. the numbers are in front of your screen keep sending them before you know it we will take them chronologically as they come in we give you the best of counsel from this end it's marriage counseling is ng television the sole media platform you know across cameroon where we come every saturday to tackle marital issues relationship matters cohabitant issues and all that has to do with love affairs and it's bafusam the land of the certain sun that's uh, where we come in live this afternoon and again the studios of you all this afternoon it's been a while you've not seen miss b and you know uh has strength as far as this program is concerned and so it's december we need the man force and the human force <laughs> to be able to tackle lots of issues out there how can a husband solve dispute between his wife and the sister we talked on that and uh, we still have children and parenting and we have how can couples resolve the conflicts amicably without bringing in a third party that one to we fathers who don't care they abandon all the responsibility to the mother is that correct basically basically i will i will not even just start from there do you know what there is there is a particular thing i am a teacher good whenever the students pass the exams they say the students were intelligent whenever they fail they say what did the teacher first of all teach okay she taught nothing <laughs> you see nobody human beings are like that Betty. Human beings are like that. Nobody will want to accept, want to accept an error. It is very difficult for you to see somebody who accepts that he has failed, and then who is who has said that he has failed, and ask that person to say that how will I do so that I can move ahead, so that I can. That is that is a simple problem. If you look at ninety percent of problems that are out there, it's because some people cannot say the word "I'm sorry." Good. It's very difficult for some people. So the issue is that it is not. It is. It is what you are saying is you are very right. Most parents used to say that if this my child is bad, it is the mother. If this my child does not succeed, it is because of you, the mother. Uh, but see, I will say that one of the reasons why some of those parents say like that is because the child spends categorically 90% of their time with the mother. The father is out there struggling to look for what they will eat. He expects that when the child comes back from, 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 from school, she is in the house, the mother commissions the child to do this and that. After then, the mother's check on how the child dresses before going to school. The mother checks on how the child, what the child eats before going out of the house. The mother checks on at the time the child comes back home. But the father is there working maybe from six o'clock, maybe to six o'clock in the evening. I think 90% of the time is spent by the mother. That is why some of, some people think that uh, 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 it is the mother, but I don't buy to that idea. Me, I don't buy to that idea because I have a fundamental role to play in the upbringing of my children. Good. I verify my children myself, personally. I make sure that the type of dressing they put on, the type of shoes they wear, and the type of school which
Uh, the angle I want you to really start with this afternoon has to do with the Because God gave you that job because he wants to take care of those children that he gave you. Just as you are saying so, that question like that, Betty, the reason why, let's go back and Mr. Bella is saying, the reason why this woman is saying that the, this money is small is because probably the man must have hidden the salary from the woman. That is why she's saying that it is small because she's not even aware of the income. So, so when there is no dialogue, yes. that is that is how it happens. Okay. So, we, we, solving this problem I see on the screen there, yes. it is that we should bring in dialogue. dialogue. If dialogue. there is a dialogue in the house, I don't see why that person on the screen should should. Dialogue could still be there, yeah. but so when, when when dialogue is available, when there is dialogue, yes, I come back with my with my my, with my pay slip. It is lying maybe on the table. Mister Bella, I am a woman. Let me not cut you in. There is a problem, Betty. Some of these women are too much exaggerated. Once I they see the pay slip, I'm coming. Once they see the pay slip of their husband, you have taken salary today. Hey, my revolve of 20,000. Hey, my digits, my father, my mother, they will spend the money immediately. You have just brought the pay slip, they will even spend the money immediately. And my uncle was sick in the village, I told you the other time, 20,000, he will be the one making the list. Exaggerated women, and I have to wear this shoe of 70 something thousand. And uh, that might be one that I tell you, they will spend the money immediately. Please, the reason why some men Hi. don't show the salary to the women it is because of the attitude of, of this. And woman. how do we deal with such? Okay, Betty, thank you. I'm a woman. How do we deal? We deal with such kind of a thing. Mm? I think let us do it here. Say something we should do it amicably. How do we do it? In your marriage, have your plan of action, what to do with money. Make your plan, make your scale of preference. Every month, make your scale of preference. How are we going to pay the house? How are we going to do this? At the end of the day, once you have made your scale, uh, scale of preference with your wife, let me say the wife is earning 50,000. Eh? The woman is also, the man is also earning what? 50,000, for instance. They should bring their resources together and make their scale of preference. How are they going to spend the Why are women so attached to money matters? What makes marriage uh, faithful? Uh, what makes marriage is faithfulness, not the family budget. Mm -hmm. If by his willingness 
your man shows his income to you mm -hmm. be glad because you are lucky mm -hmm. but never force him to do so mm -hmm. don't oblige him to do so this is pastor fejo felix mm -hmm. all the way from bamentu he in uh Jiang. thank you so much pastor fejo felix uh, your contributions always count when it comes to this program mm -hmm. uh, here on the television. Thank you, the other writer. Uh, we're sorry we can't take social media. Social media is reacting. The time is up. Yeah. Oof. Thank you so much. Okay, let's see what we have there from production room. I think Narina was here. Production room sees. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, is that time up? Production room? We started late. Uh -huh. <laughs> production room? okay thank you so much production room all right thank you thank you okay so that's it there thank you dear televiewers we can't take social media social media is bubbling thank you so much to all those who are connected uh but again we still have a lot to talk